Hello YouTube. So, tonight I'm working on a little bit of a homework assignment that I have to get finished pretty soon. Uh, the goal is to find the natural frequencies and the modes of oscillation of a two-dimensional part. So, they taught us how to do this in lab, but I have to do it at home. Uh, I've made myself sort of a improv shaker with a speaker, and there's a neodymium magnet that's holding my part, <laughs> my improvised part, to my shaker and the shaker is connected to a little amplifier and that's connected to a signal generator. Uh, you can probably hear it vibrating a little bit right now, it's about 18 hertz um, and what you'll notice is as I increase the frequency there are particular natural frequencies of this improv part uh, that will cause it to resonate and I've found a few of them already There's a tiny one around 20 hertz, then it goes away. And there's another one around 25. It decreases a little bit, but then it gets stronger again. So right now I'm about 32 hertz, um, and it's oscillating pretty good. If I increase the volume, it'll definitely do more. The goal at this point would be to capture the oscillation across the surface of the part so that you can plot uh, what the mode shape looks like at that frequency, but I don't have the equipment to do it, and I'm trying to figure out how. If any of you guys have any suggestions, I'm open to what you guys have to say. Anyways, as I increase the frequency a little bit further, uh, that's about 40 hertz, I'm going to turn the volume down. You can still find the resonant frequencies with the volume turned down, uh, you just have to listen for it. So right now I'm about 40 hertz, there's 50, so at around 55 it actually decreases, but then it, it gets much stronger around 60. If the volume were turned up, this would be vibrating all over the floor. As you can see, that's a problem. Get my part back on here. Goal of this is to be kind of a free-floating part. Anyways. I can turn the volume down a little bit and find more of the natural frequencies just by listening without having to worry about it flying all over the place. So around 60 hertz there's a really nice natural frequency and now it's gone away around 70. And there's another one around 75. And now it's now it's gone again around 90. There's one around 98 or 99. And then of course if I continued on with higher frequencies I would find even more uh, natural frequencies of this part and even more modes. Um, but for my assignment what I'm supposed to do is take something like this which is a natural frequency of about 30 hertz and capture sort of the displacement at different positions across the part so that I can accurately plot uh, the mode shape but I can't figure out how to do it I mean I can use a tape measure but that's not going to give me an accurate displacement anyways that's resonance you guys thanks for watching